What's up guys, Kessie from MetalDarts.com and today I'm bringing you a brand new review. Today I'll be reviewing the Luke Littler darts. As you know, Luke Littler had an unbelievable run at the World Championships, made it always the final at just 16 years old on his debut. Um, played really well, captured you know the country basically in terms of the world of darts. And uh, yeah, I managed to get a set of his darts, brand new from PremierDarts.co.uk. Uh, they literally tweeted out a tweet saying like, we've got one set of Littlers available and I was on it straight away, bought a set. So... Bought these for retail, they retail for £102.95, which is quite expensive. I'll go into detail a little bit later on if I think they're worth value for money. They're available in 23 grams, but also Target are now going to be launching a 22 and a 24 gram version when they release in February. If you want to pre order these darts, you can get them at Target Darts. The 23 gram version, which I have, are 52 millimeters long and 6.5 millimeters wide. The darts are black PVD coated and they feature Target's. Uh, patented pixel grip. The pixel grip is for the first two thirds of the barrel, I would say. Then you have a smooth section, then one more ring of pixel grip, and then some sort of uh, micro grip at the back. They come supplied with some short yellow pro grip stems and Luke Littler flight. Luke Littler actually uses the Target K Flex. He was using those during the World Championship. So if you want to replicate his whole setup, make sure you go and buy some Target K Flex. I believe he uses the medium, he has quite a long setup. The pixel grip doesn't actually offer as much grip as I thought it did. This is my first time ever trying some pixel grip darts. I thought it would offer a lot more grip than it does. I would say these were level 3.5 out of 5, so not overly grippy, but um, you know more, more than a mid-range grip. On the board, these darts originally didn't fly too great for me. I had to put in some longer points just because I normally use the longer points. So I first started out you know, a bit ropey. Uh, it's quite a short setup generally when you get it out of the box. I had to give it a as i said longer point um, i kept the original flights and stems though i did try it out with some k flex as well because of how long the setup was um, in terms of the barrel they were sitting quite flat to start with um, but i did adjust and eventually they were starting to stand up these perform very similar to you know pretty much every straight barrel dart out there in terms of the value for money what i will say is i don't think these darts are really worth 102 pounds or 103 pounds whatever they're worth um, unless you're sort of like collecting them. Obviously, there's a lot of novelty around them at the minute because Luke Lissler is probably going to be a future world champion. I mean, he's already made a world championship final. Um, so there's probably a bit of value in that, especially if you get some new darts. But there's a lot of these actually about. Um, it's just that they're currently sold out because there's so much hype around Luke Littler. If you're buying these in terms of just playing with them, I would probably look at another sort of ring grip dart, perhaps something with a bit more spacing. An Adrian Lewis style dart with a sort of wider ring grip offers a similar amount of grip. Um, and is you know probably about half the price so i'd probably look at something like that if you're just looking to play with these darts i know a lot of the pixel grip range is quite expensive and i think that is because one it is like a little bit more difficult to machine but also because it is targets patent you can't get this style grip anywhere else which i think adds a little bit to the value but um yeah i still wouldn't pay 102 103 pounds for these if you're just using them to throw unless you know you're an absolute super fan of luke Littler and you really really want to use his darts um, I probably wouldn't buy these if you're going out and playing matches week in, week out. Especially with the black coating, because it will just chip away and it will look not great, to be honest. But if you take the value away from it and just look at the dart itself, it's actually a really solid dart. I you know, would definitely recommend it if you could just pick a setup cheap, uh, which isn't going to happen anytime soon. But yeah, really nice dart in terms of the throwing, really comfortable level of grip. Perform as you would expect with a straight barrel dart. It's just unfortunate they are a little bit too expensive. Okay guys, that's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It helps push this review out to more people that haven't seen my videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and also leave a comment down below what you want to see next. As of now, I'll see you next time. Bye.